I know a lot of you might be thinking, wait a minute, you just put Grant Cardone's name in the title to get more views. And guess what? That's true. Meet because look. Kevin, meet Kevin, meet Kevin. He is one of my favorite YouTubers right now. Why is he one of my favorite YouTubers right now? Because he's always transparent and he tells you exactly what he's doing. Now I've told you guys about leverage and uh, authority. I've always preached that to you guys for a long time. What me Kevin has just did was reveal that I was right this entire time about the pace of his growth of his YouTube channel. I was right the entire time and how you guys can imitate that if you have a YouTube channel as well. I know I'm gonna take a few of these ideas that he's laid out, and since I know that it's a proven model now, I should be able to make this work as well. So I'm gonna show you the clip just proving to you that I was right about leveraging uh, other people's brand and authority to grow your channel. So watch this clip right here real quick. I'll start with saying that I really appreciate the way Grant Cardone handles the fact that I make videos talking and adding perspective about things that he does. And look, I know a lot of you might be thinking, wait a minute, you just put Grant Cardone's name in the title to get more views. And guess what? That's true. Because look, the very first videos that I made on YouTube for the last six years got no views. They were just clients who watched my videos or potential clients. That's it. And I gave the same perspective, the same information that I always do. Yet it wasn't until November of last year that I made a video, what so-and-so isn't telling you. And that video, all of a sudden I came back and I had like 450 subscribers it was like oh my gosh just because i put their name in the title okay, now, so now you see that it was true the whole time i told you when i went through his channel majority of his videos that blasted off and everything was about grant cardone at first and then then he came back in and started doing trending videos on graham stephan now if you pay attention to graham stephan's channel which i'm going to show you as well right now so as you saw he did the exact same thing he leveraged other people as well logan paul pewdiepie and he broke them down. But they're not just going after trends with no aim at all. What they're doing is they're trying to hijack the customers of their competitor, all right? What you have to realize is when you're new on YouTube, nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about you at all. So you have to implant things into your videos that they actually care about in order to keep them intrigued and until they care about you one day. Now people will go to watch Graham Stephan for Graham Stephan because over time they were able to, you know, grasp onto his personality and everything. Same thing about me, Kevin. Over time, people were able to grasp onto his personality so they started watching him for him. But at the beginning, he understood, well not at the beginning, after six years, he said, it took him six years before he really got any traction. That's crazy. So after six years, when he uploaded his first video, it blew up. And what I mean by that is he changed the name. He said, this person left out this. The moment he implanted somebody more important than him at the time into his title, his channel freaking blew up. He said he woke up with over like 465 new subscribers and he's been doing it ever since then. So you pay attention now on his channel, him and Graham Stephan, they go after trending topics and they find a way to make it relatable to what they do and teach so that they can make money. For instance, what you guys might see me do. If I see somebody trending in the news, let's say it's Al Pacino, Al Pacino wins Grammy. I know his name is trending now. So I could take that title and relate it to what I do. And I do real estate. So I can say Al Pacino wins Grammy and at the same time reveals his real estate portfolio. Or Al Pacino wins Grammy as we reveal his real estate portfolio. So we can just show you how much his house was worth and you know, all of that stuff, blah, blah, blah. And if you want a house like that on the market or whatever, then reach out to us. So we can leverage that traffic about Al Pacino winning that Grammy because that's what people are gonna be searching, but we can pivot it and make the story about us and get a little bit of those subscribers and hopefully get some of that money. So this is what me, Kevin, and Graham Stephan was able to realize, uh, <laughs> which is why they had exponential growth, okay? So at the beginning, when you're at the beginning of your YouTube journey, you have to remember that nobody cares about you. Some of you watching this right now might not care about me. You're watching this because the title had me, Kevin, in it, 
and you wanted to hear what I had to say about him. You thought I had beef with him or something. No, I like me Kep, okay? But eventually what will happen after you guys watch me for long enough, then you're gonna start watching me for me instead of for whoever else I'm talking about because you're going to like my personality. Some of you, make sure you subscribe. Some of you might leave, but others will, the ones that are smart will subscribe so that they can learn real estate, so that they can learn joint investing, okay? So the same business model works for everybody on YouTube. Leverage other important things that are trending until people care about you. You have to get out of your own pride. A lot of you guys are growing slow because you're prideful. Your mother's programmed you to believe that people actually, the world is supposed to care about you. No, the world doesn't care about you. So you have to put things I guarantee you, implement this today on your YouTube channel. Put things into your video that are trending, that people actually care about at the time. And I guarantee you, your click-through rate will go up. Uh, put it in your thumbnail as well, all right? If you're doing something talking about uh, best Black Friday deals, go and research the top things that people buy on Black Friday and put them in the thumbnail. Everybody wants to do a thumbnail like this or something crazy like that, but people don't care about you, all right? So your click-through rate will go up higher if you put things in the thumbnail and in the title and in the description that they can see, okay? That they're actually looking for, they're actually searching for that. So if I'm looking for nine volt batteries, uh, if I see a thumbnail with a person talking about some, I'm not gonna click on that. I don't care how cool or colorful your thumbnail is, but if you are holding that nine volt battery right there in the thumbnail, I'm gonna click on it because that's what I'm looking for. You have to make the model, you have to make whatever they're searching for be the main event of the video because they don't care about you yet, okay? All right, so that's what you wanna do. So that's what me, Kevin did. When he revealed that YouTube strategy, I knew it because I grow news channels and news channels grow extremely fast. Why? Because they're always talking about trending topics. When you look at those movie trailer channels, they grow extremely fast to millions of subscribers. Why? Because they're always talking about trending topics right on time, speed, uniqueness, timing, okay? So that's what it's about, okay? so. Hey, if you have a YouTube channel, go ahead and grow. You could get into the internet marketing survival kit in the school, and uh, I'll show you how I grow other YouTube channels and everything like that. This channel isn't that big because it's about marketing, and there's not too many things trending in there. But I'm going to implement a few things on this channel to grow this one now that I actually give a damn about YouTube. At first, I just used to use it as lead generation, but now I see the potential. <laughs> the potential in becoming a YouTuber. Like you can actually uh, sell these channels for millions of dollars. Also, Joe Rogan made a hundred million or more uh, moving over to Spotify just because of his YouTube channel. So I see the potential in it now, so I'm gonna kill it. Watch what I tell you, all right? So you guys need to do the same thing. Uh, use the Meet Kevin YouTube strategy.